Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another video on exercise 9.3 from the chapter mensuration of class 8. So till now we have studied about the uh, fifth question of this exercise 9.3. So here we are going to deal with the next question that is sixth one. Describe how the two figures below are alike. Okay, so we have to say how these two figures which is one is cylinder as well as one is cubical shape. Okay, so both are alike. We have to say that how these two figures are alike and how they are different. Okay, so like it is the properties. We have to say how these are equal. Okay, they look similar and how they are uh, different. Which box has the larger lateral surface area? So already they have given the diameter of the cylinder is 7 centimeter as well as the height of the cylinder is 7 centimeter. And of this cube, all the length, breadth and height of this cube is equals to 7 centimeter. So already they have given side of the cube is equals to L which is equals to 7 centimeter. And they have told us to find the lateral surface area. So according to the formula LSA of cube, we are having it to be as 4L square. So let us substitute. 4 into L is nothing but 7 into 7. L square means 7 into 7. So when you multiply all this, you are going to get 196 centimeter square. Okay, then coming to this part, okay, this figure that is height of the cylinder they have given 7 centimeter and diameter of the cylinder they have given 7 centimeter. Okay, so CSA of cylinder is equals to 2 pi r h. Okay, so already we know that diameter will be equals to 2 r. 2r means 2 times the radius. Okay, so let me show you if this is a circle. Okay, and this is the center. The diameter will be completely this line which is made up of 2 radius. One this side as well as one this side. This is the diameter. 2 times the radius. So, if it is 2 times the radius, if we substitute here, you can see here 2r is given. Okay, here also 2r. So, this 2r will constitute of d. Okay, so instead of 2r, we can write d value that is diameter value it is 7 into pi value we can write 22 by 7 into height is also 7 centimeter so this 7 and 7 is cancelled 7 into 22 is nothing but 154 centimeter square so according to this which one is having the larger lateral surface area obviously the cube will be having the larger lateral surface area okay so next seventh one a closed cylindrical tank of radius 7 cm. So, this is a closed cylindrical tank which is having this part, radius part as 7 cm and this height is 3 meter. So, sorry, this is also meter. 7 meter and height is 3 meter. It is made up of sheet of metal. Okay, now this is made up of a metal sheet. So, how much sheet of metal is required? We have to count how much metal sheet is required. Already they have given R value, H value. So, let us substitute TSA of the cylinder 2 pi R into R plus H. Why we have to taken TSA here because they have already told us it is a closed cylinder. If it is closed cylinder means it is having top as well as bottom. If it was open it was having only the curved surface area okay only this curved part it was not having top and bottom. So we have taken here TSA because they have already told us into the question it is a closed cylindrical tank okay. So 2 pi r into r plus h sub substitute here 2 value pi value is 22 by 7 into r value is 7 into r plus h r is 7 plus h is 3 okay. 7 and 7 got cancelled 2 into 22 is nothing but 44 and 7 plus 3 is 10 so 10 into 44 is nothing but 440 meter square so the next one you can see 8 one the lateral surface area for hollow cylinder hollow cylinder means the empty cylinder okay which is not covered up and down hollow cylinder is 2 4 2 uh, 2 uh, sorry 4 2 2 4 centimeter square it is cut along its height okay now if the cylinder is present here and if we cut that cylinder from half then you will find a rectangular sheet okay so suppose let me show you if this is your cylinder okay and if you cut it from this part then you will find it to be a sheet like this okay it will be a open sheet like this okay see it is cut along the height from the height if it is cut and formed into a rectangular shape sheet of width 33 centimeter so it will be having the width 33 centimeter find the perimeter of the rectangular sheet we have to find the perimeter perimeter means only the boundaries of this rectangular sheet okay so first we uh, they have already given us that uh, lsa lsa they have given that is lateral surface area of cylinder is given 4 2 2 4 centimeter square okay and height of they have given that h is equals to 33 centimeter so lsa of cylinder formula we are having that is 2 pi r into h okay so lsf cylinder is given so let us substitute lsf cylinder is 4 2 2 4 which is equals to 2 value will be as it is into pi value is 22 by 7 into r as it is because we don't know the value of r we have to find out the value of r h is given here that is 33 centimeter so here 
substituted 33 centimeter now if you take this 7 to this side it will become 4 4 2 2 4 into 7 if you take this to this side it will be multiplied okay and if you keep this r and the remaining terms that is 2 22 and this 3 if you bring it to this side it will be divided by so this is 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 and 2 twos are 4 then again 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 okay then here you can see this is 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 okay then 2 ones are 2 okay it is cancelled here you can see this 2 ones are 2 okay then we have taken here 0 because we are going to take two numbers together. So, I have taken 0 here. Okay. Then, 2 5s are 10. 1 will be remaining. 2 6 are 12. Then, again, 3 1s are 3. 3 1s are 3. And 3 3s are 9. Three, 1 will be carried. 3 5s are 15. And 3 2s are 6. So, we are left with 352 into 7 divided by 11 into 11. So, 11 1s are 11. 11 3s are 33. 34, 35, 2 is remaining and 11, 2s are 22. So, we are left with, so you can see here, we are left with 32 into 7 which is equals to 224 and it will be divided by 11. So, we will keep this as it is, 224 divided by 11, we will keep it as it is. We are having the length of the rectangular sheet. We need to find the length of the rectangular sheet because they have told us to find the perimeter. So, perimeter we know, okay, that is 2 pi r. Length of that rectangular sheet will be equals to 2 pi r length first we have to find the length okay so length l will be equals to 2 into substitute uh, 2 into 22 by 7 into r value we got this much we did not divide this let us keep it as it is 2 2 4 divided by 11 okay now 11 ones are 11 11 twos are 22 and 7 ones are 7 this is 7 threes are 21 and 1 will be carried 7 twos are 14 so 2 into 2 is nothing but 4 4 into 32 is nothing but 128 centimeter now we got the value of l we got the value of r as 224 divided by 11 okay so perimeter of rectangle is 2 times of l plus b 2 into l plus b so substitute 2 value l value is 128 plus b value we got we are having already the b value uh, b value that is width which is 33 centimeter so 33 already written so if you add this you are going to get 161 into 2 is nothing but 322 centimeter Next, you can see ninth question. A road roller takes 750 complete revolutions to move once over to level a road. So, to level a road, a road roller takes how many rotation revolutions? 750 complete revolutions. So, completely you have seen the road roller. So, the roller of that vehicle will be revolving 750 times completely to level a road. Okay. Find the area of the road if the diameter of the road, road roller is 84 centimeter and length is 1 meter. So, 1 meter length so whatever the road rollers uh, uh, cylindrical type uh, it is there it is having as you can see here it is having this will be of one meter okay and it is having the diameter this part diameter is nothing but 84 centimeter it is okay so d is already given that is 84 centimeter length or height we can say it is one meter one meter means it will be 100 centimeter one meter is equals to 100 centimeter so csa we have to find curved surface area we have to find okay because the up and down they did not tell us about uh, the two corners only they have told us about the to area okay we have to find the area of the road so csa is equals to 2 pi r into h so diameter means 2 times radius so directly substitute in place of 2 r we can write 84 into pi value is 22 by 7 into height is 100 centimeter so 7 ones are 7 here also 7 ones are 7 1 will be carried and 7 twos are 14 so 12 into 22 is nothing but uh, into 100 is 264 double zero centimeter square so area covered by taking 750 revolutions so if you you multiply this with 750 so you are going to get this much of centimeter square if you convert this into meter so you know that so you already know that one meter is equals to 100 centimeter so one meter is squared two times means 100 will be again squared so 100 square means how much you are getting you are getting 10,000 centimeter square so, it means when you multiply this, you are going to get this much, okay? And it will be in centimeter square, okay? So, if you want to convert this into meter, what you need to do is you need to divide this by 10,000, okay? So, how many zeros in 10,000? Four zeros. So, this four zeros will be cancelled. You are left with 1980 centimeter or meter square, okay? So, the last question of this exercise. 
a company packages its milk powder in a cylindrical container so this is a cylindrical container in which the company pack packs its milk powder whose base has diameter of 14 cm so this base is having the diameter of 14 cm and it is having the height 20 cm company places a label so this shaded region is the label around the surface of the container so if this is a container after some gap you can see up and down after some gap up and down in the middle they have placed a label of this company okay okay company places a label around the surface of the container as shown in the figure you can see in the figure if the label is placed 2 cm from top means if this is having 2 cm here okay this space is 2 cm and bottom top and bottom from here also this is 2 cm and from here also it is at 2 cm distance then what is the area of the label so we have to find out the area of this label already they have told us diameter is equals to 14 cm diameter means 2 times of radius okay diameter is 2 times radius and height height they have given it is 20 centimeter height of the label so label is height of the cylinder we know but the label is from here it is 2 centimeter far away and from here it is 2 centimeter far away so in that 20 centimeter we need to remove this to 2 centimeter 2 centimeter from here we have minus and 2 centimeter from here we have minus so 20 minus 2 is 18 18 minus 2 is again 16 we got so height of this label is 16 centimeter so we need to find csa csa is equals to 2 pi r h so 2 r value we know that is c here 2 r is nothing but diameter so diameter is how much 14 into pi value is 22 by 7 into height we got it is 16 so 7 1 is a 7 7 2 is a 14 so we got 44 into 16 so if you multiply this two you are getting 704 centimeter square okay so i hope this exercise is clear to you if you are having any doubts regarding this you can comment me down below so i'll be back with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you